Hey guys, have I got a great one for you today. Everybody loves a good car story and we've got a great car story for you today. Let's talk to some folks that know this car, love this car, and have come together around this car. Check it out. All right guys, with me today, I have the original owner of this all original 73 Mustang. So Alan, what made you want this car? Well, they were going to discontinue making the full-size uh, Mustang and I knew that and I had a, Mustang, a Mach 1 Mustang already but I wanted to get one of the last ones made and I decided when I was in high school my senior year to go ahead and order this one. Hope, well, I was told it would come before school got out but it didn't. It was about three weeks after. Wow so so you actually special ordered this car you didn't just find it on the lot somewhere no i've, I've talked to the salesman bill winkler and uh, he ordered it for me we went through all the options that were available for the car and i picked out the ones i wanted and the ones that i could afford <laughs> so there, there's lots of great options on the car um i noticed that it has the actual ram air system uh, so that was a that was a choice that you you made it was awesome and and so it also has the the fold down back seat right yes so that was uh extra also wow so what th there are a couple options that you just didn't choose is that well, yeah at the time i wanted a car that ran better and not uh so so much comfortable so i didn't order air conditioning in it i knew that would uh rob horsepower from it <laughs> a little bit so i just decided i didn't want that right awesome and so you also got the manual windows correct yeah but yeah. every other option basically that you could possibly get you did yeah wow that's awesome so this car is completely unrestored original it's exactly like it was when you ordered it correct yes wow and so this is original paint striping everything interior and all is is still original wow so now do you still own this car no i sold it to danny cole in uh 85 okay so you decided sometime uh you know a little over 10 years of owning the car that you were going to sell it why did you want to sell it well i didn't have a real good place to store it anymore i was keeping it in my parents house in their garage and uh, i had built a house and and uh, uh i was using a lot of the garage space for other things so i just decided at Danny had talked to me for two years about buying the car <laughs> and I just decided one day I said you know uh, it's better for somebody who really wants to take care of it and has a place to store it awesome. to, to, to have it and and uh, uh, I'll, I'll start raising my family <laughs> <laughs> Wow so you and you and Danny were friends in high school then we were that's cool so you sold the car in 85 mm -hmm. uh, to your buddy Danny yes all right. Well, let's talk to Danny and see uh, see how he comes into this story. All right. So now I've got my buddy Danny here. Um, Danny, you bought this car in 85, is that correct? Yes. All right. So what made you want the car? Well, I owned about the car when I had to graduate high school, and I always loved the car. I was a freshman in high school. I was three grades behind Danny, and uh, I tried to buy it. 76 when I graduated oh, wow. he didn't really want to sell it and I ended up buying a, a 72 and I sold it in 81 and then I seen uh, he had his van for sale outside of his house on Wednesday before Thanksiving 1985 and uh, I called him I said see you got your van for sale he said yeah do you want to buy it I said no I want to buy the Mark 1 <laughs> he said okay I'll sell it to you so I went up the Friday after Thanksgiving and, and bought it and I had it ever since. Wow, so you got the car in, in 85 Correct. and kept it in the garage. It's completely, like we said, it's an unrestored car. So do you still own the car? Well, I don't still own it. I gave it to my daughter and uh, I'll let her go into more details about that. She always wanted the car from the time she was a little girl and I always promised it to her so I told her that when she got of age I'd let her have it and, which I did. Awesome. All right well thanks Danny. Good to talk to you brother. So this is Ashley and Ashley is the current owner of the car correct? Yes. What is your history to the car? So I'm Ashley. I'm Danny's daughter. Um, Dad has had this car probably about a year before I was born so I've 
it's been in, in my life, my entire lifetime. Um, ever since I was probably five or six years old, this has always been my car. I have laid claim to this car my entire life. And so dad always promised me that he would give me this car. And he actually did. It was actually a wedding gift. And oh, my wow. husband and I drove away in this car on our wedding night. Oh, how great. So you've had this car um, as your car ever since you got married? Yes, since 2011. Uh, that's fantastic. So um, let's bring your husband on out. Okay. So how did you guys um, actually get to get to know each other? Like how long have you... How long have you known each other? Okay, so we actually met in daycare. Oh wow. And so we've known each other our entire lives. And we started dating October 11th of 2003. Um, he had just graduated high school. I was still in high school. And we've been together ever since. So we are high school sweethearts. Oh, that's awesome. And we got married August 20th of 2011. Okay. So we have owned the car since then. Very, very cool. So, Daniel, do you have any history to to the car besides um your wife and her uh getting the car so my dad uh owned this car when i was born and i was about six months old when uh, he sold the car in 85. now wait a minute so your dad owned the car yep and her dad owned the car uh-huh and now you guys own the car yep. yes this is the ultimate family car <laughs> yes that so the is... only people who have owned this car is our fathers and now us. Wow. That's awesome. So your dad bought the car brand new. Bought it new. And sold it when you were six months old. Uh-huh. Not long before you met her for the first time. Yep. Probably <laughs> within uh, two or three years. Wow. Wow. And then you grew up with this car. Yes. He bought it a year before you were born. Yes. You grew up with the car. You loved the car. Mm -hmm. You wanted the car. Yes. <laughs> Dad promised you the car. Yes. Yes, I grew up with going to car shows with my dad and my grandfather um, with uh, this Mustang and then a truck that my grandfather had. Wow. So now you guys have got kids of your own. We do. And so basically what I'm thinking is one day those kids will have kids of their own maybe mm -hmm. and they'll be saying this car was our great great grandfather's car yes both of them yes. <laughs> <laughs> that's amazing yes. that's awesome i love this story uh what a wonderful car what a wonderful family it's so great to meet you guys uh to hear your story and thank you so much for talking to us thank you see you guys bye